70,000 packed in here at Nissan Stadium. Not a seat to be had as playoff football and certainly playoff fever have descended upon the music city of Nashville, Tennessee. Straight ahead, a class to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it should be a great one, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Tennessee Titans. And no run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. Second down now. Play action now. Levitz. That's to the Notre Dame man, Michael Mayer. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Tally, that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. Levis to throw off play action. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Flush to his right, and he wisely will throw that one away. I thought at first he tried to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. Off the play fake, Levis. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only, Charles, in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And, partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways. But you're right, they want to run their offense through him. Second and seven. Now Levis. Throw right side, pulled in by Mayer. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now we have 
haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran, but it doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. A loss of two there, second down. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. And power running here down to the six-yard line. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Levis out of the gun on third down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will not be enough on third and five. He only gets three. Fourth down, Levis escaping the pressure right. Touchdown, Raiders! From three yards out. And the Raiders are on the board first here in this AFC Championship game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. here on first down. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Pollard gets it off the option. And some space here. Now he's free at the 35. And he'll wind up taking this all the way down to the Raiders' 10-yard line. 70 yards on the ground in this first half with a Super Bowl berth on the line. Now they'll shift things around. First down, he'll drop to throw. Here's a screen now for Pollard. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. to throw now on second and ten. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown. Tony Pollard an 11 yard touchdown. And the Titans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point splits the uprights and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Go, 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 go. 
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Tackle made there by Cheetah Bay Awuzie. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Back to throw, it's Levis. He finds Mayer here. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A gain of 21 yards. And the Las Vegas first down. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. He'll look to throw. Boy oh, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Carlson on for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Pollard to return from the end zone. Breaks through the contact. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. 
They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. One yard game brings up second and nine at the 16-yard line. Second and nine now. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. First down. First down. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Titans! Josh Wiley, 57 yards. And the Titans have got it back to within a score. Extra point right down the middle. And they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second down and three. The tight end in motion right. A second down throw from Levis. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Levis to throw it. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Back to the air on second down, Levis. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 33. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Levis. It gets it right back to Mayer. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter.
False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they have work to do in this second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 103 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this AFC title game. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. to throw now on first down. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Throw here, take it in by Wiley, the tight end. Touchdown, Titans! Josh Wiley, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans have cut it back within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. 
They'll wind up getting just a yard. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book, right, that tells us what to do in every situation. Everyone kind of knows what it says, but it's never really been written down anywhere. He violated every code on that one, didn't he? Deciding to go for it right there. Oh, yeah, your side of the field, this stage of the game, you're supposed to punt the football. He said, who cares? I'm going to light the book on fire. Yeah, analytics, everyone else, be warned, he's coming for you. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 83 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Levis now off of play action. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Levis to throw on first and 10 here. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. On second down, a run, and this is a reverse here. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. Receivers here on third and ten. Levis sets up to throw here. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pick up that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Now a first and ten at the eleven. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over this entry bar. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This time they face a third and two. Hands it off out of the gun. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. 
and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Here we go on fourth down. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Raiders are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And there, even if you've got to take something off that throw so that he slows down to catch it, that's far more preferable than what happened there. A big miss on what should have been a touchdown. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll get this one laid up just shy of the 45-yard line. Now they'll audible to something else. Again, he'll drop to throw. And the Raiders have got him. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. He finds his man, Pollard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Steps away to his left, and he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They'll look to throw again. Under pressure, and he will go down. 
Brown sacked back at the 38. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitzed. coverage defensive lineman gets the sack that's where the o-line they go to the sideline they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them right yeah the cameras can't find them but i know one thing the o-line coach will all right they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down they're going for it so how about this they'll change it at the line As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the pieces have fallen into place to this point. They've got a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. A berth to the Super Bowl resting on their ability to see this one through to the end. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's Levis. He hits Adams complete. Touchdown Raiders. Devontae Adams, 62 yards. And the Raiders are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make this a three score game now. The lead moves to 17. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yes. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Jacorian Bennett has it. That he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A handoff as they run the counter play. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but 
They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Back to throw again. And this one is incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Now they'll change things around before the snap. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And it's a Titans touchdown. Josh Wiley, 35 yards. And the Titans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Now the Titans leaving the offense out there. They'll go for two. They'll try and run it here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And it's the Raiders that'll come up with it. And that will put victory in sight for the Silver and Black. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. champions and on to the Super Bowl they go. It's got to be an amazing feeling for them, doesn't it, Brandon? The idea that you've done it all, all that hard work, all that sweating, all that effort, all those times you're getting yelled at by your coach, and now you get to go to the Super Bowl. Put your hats on, guys, and say AFC champs. And that'll close the books on the conference. Play up!